Part 2. Deer VR Spatial Connect and Nuendo 10 Ambisonics Workflow with Deer VR Ambi Micro. Welcome back to the second part of our little tutorial series using Spatial Connect and Nuendo 10. In the first video, we set up a binaural workflow. In this part, we want to explain an Ambisonics workflow. For that, we use the Deer VR Ambi Micro plugin to edit and monitor an Ambisonic format binaural on our headphones. Deer VR Ambi Micro is a free AAX, VST, and AU plugin available at www.deervr.com. It's an all in one solution for Ambisonics workflows up to third order. As our first step, we need to open our Audio Connections tab. Here, create a new output by clicking on Add Bus and specify a third order Ambisonics configuration. I'll just specify the name as TOA, meaning third order Ambisonics. Of course, you could also work with second or first order Ambisonics buses. On this occasion, I'd like to point out that the first four channels of a third order Ambisonics bus are actually equal to a first order Ambisonics version of that bus. Similarly, the first nine channels of a third order Ambisonics bus are also equal to a second order Ambisonics version of that bus. Therefore, if you're not sure yet which order you'd like to support, you're usually safe with declaring a third order Ambisonics bus at this step and then decide later in the rendering process how many channels you really want to use. We have created a new output bus inside Nuendo, which we'll set as our main mix with just a right click. This is indicated by a red speaker symbol. All our audio signals will be routed to our control room, which is used to monitor the ambisonic stream by neural on our headphones. It's also important that you set up your headphones output to whatever interface you're using. Make sure it's connected here. All right. To use the Deer VR Pro Spatializer plugin in an ambisonics workflow, we have to move it to the 3D panner slots. Go to the mixer console view to insert Deer VR Pro into the slots. First, go to the routing section and set up the output of these tracks to our third order Ambisonics bus we just created. You can see that these three dependent slots have changed their configuration. Right clicking on those slots enable us to select Deer VR Pro from the drop down menu. We shouldn't forget to set the output to third order Ambisonics. In our demo, I'm going to use the Ambi X format, repeating it for all the three tracks now. Great. It's important to have a close look on the control room setting because we want to monitor our bus as well. For that, we have to decode the ambisonic signal. By default, Nuendo will use its own native Ambisonics decoder, but we recommend to use Deer VR Ambi Micro instead. It is capable to decode Ambisonics audio into high quality binaural format and use the same binaural rendering as Deer VR Pro. Please make sure that you specify third order Ambisonics in the input format drop down menu for this setup. All right. When I start this now, I can see that 16 channels will go out of my Deer VR Pro plugin instances and get decoded into two binaural channels within the control room. I'm just going to give it a spin here. Awesome. That's it. So far, we've set up our audio tracks, routed them through our Ambisonics bus to the control room, and we're using Deer VR Ambi Micro to decode our mix to binaural. We have now connected our digital audio workstation with Deer VR Spatial Connect and Nuendo running on our machine, and are now fully set up to dive into the hands-on VR mixing workflow of our tutorial series.